my name is John Towner, and I'm the director of the music business program here at Elmhurst University. And I very much enjoy what I do because I counsel students in the area of music business and the music industry, uh, helping them find their place. Uh, the music industry is a very, very wide circle of available jobs. And it's my function to be able to connect our students with the various jobs that are out there. So when they first come in, I counsel them and introduce them to the different areas of the music industry that exist, and there are many. And so students are sometimes surprised as to how many there are. Um, so my role is to first introduce them, here are the, all the various paths that you could take in the music industry. And over the course of the four years, what I try to do is hone that down into their specific skill set. What are they good at? What's their desire? What's their passion? So that by the time they're finished, they were really focused on the particular areas of the music industry that they really want to succeed in and do well in. And so, and then by that time they're doing their internship and then the, the goal is that once they finish, they, they walk into a job that they actually enjoy and are excited about. That's amazing. So there's four different programs that you oversee? There are four different. We have, um, we've actually been doing music business degrees here for over 30 years, but We've revised our program and then recently two of those degrees have been revised to include new courses in music and entertainment law and in venue management and concert promotion. We also have two full out degree programs that are brand new. One of them is called, it's a music industry degree, but it's for non-musicians. So this is the first time we're teaching courses and ha having a degree available in the music industry where you don't have to be a performing musician. All we require is just a really base level knowledge of music that we teach, so you have some understanding of the function of it, um, but you don't have to perform, you don't have to audition on an instrument. You can come in and you, we have many students that have come to us in the past who have been interested in working in the music industry and we want to provide something for them. So we opened up these new paths for them to be able to come in, even though they're, they're, they're not really primarily musicians, they have a passion for the music industry, they want to work in it, and we're able to set it up so that they have a path now and we can teach them and prepare them for that. So in addition to the music industry degree, we now have a degree in music production. For several years up to this point, we've had a, a minor in music production, and that's consisted of a few classes that students can take in digital music and in studio production. We now have expanded that to become a full major in music production. So students, actually for the first time, one of the things that's unique about this degree is that for the first time, students can come in who don't play traditional instruments, but perhaps have done all of their music on their laptops. They can now audition on their laptops. Anything that anything they've created in you know, a musical nature uh, on their laptop, whatever software they use, they can now audition them by submitting that material and then that's, that's their door in. While they're here, if they want to learn traditional instruments while they're here, that's great. Otherwise, they can continue to work on their laptop. In that particular degree, the only thing that we require per se is some exposure to working with voice. But contemporary musicians that are working in the electronic media area really still need to understand the human voice and how it works for singing and vocal coaching and things like that. So that's what we do in that area. We're really proud of that, that new degree.